I've been doing YouTube videos for almost 10 years now, and I've been asked every single question from the size pants I wear to every excruciating detail of my relationship with any girl that pops up in one of my videos. But the question I get asked most often is how I film my videos and my exact camera setup. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how I do what I do. My primary camera is the Canon 70D, which I love for two reasons. One, the spring-loaded SD card slot. It might sound small, but it's a really nice luxury. And two, autofocus video is amazing. I actually just got it back in the mail today from being repaired by Canon because I broke the screen completely off two weeks ago. Then we have my two GoPro Hero 4s, one black, one silver edition. I usually film my day in the lives with these just because it's really nice to be able to throw in my pocket and actually get decent video quality out of them. Then we have an Optica 6.5 millimeter fisheye, which is crucial for filming skateboarding, but otherwise I don't really use it that much. And the reason why is because it's sort of like the wide angles obnoxious little brother. The distortion is heavy and it just doesn't look quite as good. My most versatile lens is definitely the Canon 24105. It can be super wide or super zoomed in and it also auto focuses really fast. Fun fact, I actually lost my lens cap a few weeks ago and got this guy from eBay for $2, including shipping. The ultimate underdog lens, the Canon 50mm 1.8, super cheap, made out of plastic, but it takes incredible photos at f1.8. You get a really shallow depth of field and it's great for low light conditions. Whenever I'm going on a big adventure, whether I'm skating in New York City, going hiking, going camping, whatever, it sucks to carry around a huge tripod, so I always keep this slick mini tripod in my bag. I also keep this piece so I can attach my iPhone to it. There's nothing worse than having a hole in your socks when you're skating, which is why I always carry around an extra pair. Lots and lots of batteries and the lens pen, which is all I use to clean lenses. One side's a brush and the other side takes out smudges and it always does the trick. This is a B&W 10 stop neutral density filter, which is great for taking daytime long exposure photos, kind of like this. Writing stuff down is so important which is why I always carry a journal just for writing down like thoughts ideas jokes buy yourselves a journal it'll make your life better microfiber cloth plastic bag which always comes in handy for random stuff and of course memory cards just got this 3d yard drone last week and I'm absolutely in love with it such a fun toy and it gets incredible GoPro footage The microphone I use is the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is pretty good for a shotgun mic, and that fuzzy thing on it is called a dead cat. It blocks out wind, and I just really like saying dead cat. A plant, obviously for decor, and then my all-time favorite lens in the entire world, the Tamron 10-24 wide-angle lens. Less distortion than a fisheye, it takes incredible photos. Everything looks cool with the wide angle pretty much, and it's also great for vlogging and talking to the camera. And a knife for protection, but mostly for making veggie burgers. Then you have my tripod, which is a Vanguard Abio 203 AV, which is a mouthful. It's pretty sturdy, but lightweight, so it's good for traveling. Finally, my lights, which are Limo Studio 105 watt bulbs, $15 each on Amazon, and they pack a punch. They're actually how I film videos like these. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed seeing what I use to make my videos. If you're still wondering how I use all that stuff. I've been thinking about doing some camera tutorials lately, particularly for photography. So if you'd be interested in that, leave a comment down below and I'll get right to work. If you want to see another one of my videos, Stay in the Life 27 with Nigel Alexander, link is over there. And that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you eventually.